So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Dave. I'm a first year medical student here in the Philippines. So for today's video, we will tackle the 2019 and math practices. Recently ko lang nalaman na meron na palang 2019 version na binibigay yung CEM sa mga NMAT takers. Ayan, so shout out pala kay Kate na nag-message sa akin na sana gawin ko din itong video na to for the 2019 version. So, ito na. Ito na yung 2019 version ng ano, quantitative reasoning. So, disclaimer lang. Um, this will be a combination of the fundamental operations and the problem solving part. Dahil yung ibang numbers is na-discuss na sa 2014 version ng NMAT practice set. So, if you want to see the solutions for the 2014 NMAT practice set, um, I will just put the link down below sa description box and then you can just browse through it para makasunod kayo. So, without further ado, let's start. Ngayon, sa view nyo, makikita nyo na may mga highlighted numbers na dito. Ito yung mga problems na naibigay na sa 2014 version. Number 1 to 8 ay naibigay na sa 2014 version. Okay, number 9. Ito ay, to simplify, the 6th root of 9, x raised to 8, y raised to 12, Okay. Immediately, makikita mo dito, pwede mo na agad malabas yung x and then yung y. Kasi meron siyang 6 within. So parang yung exponent niya is mas malaki dun sa root. So may ilalabas natin yung equivalent niya. So may ilalabas natin si x and then may iwan sa loob si 9 syempre. And then 8 minus 6 is 2. So may natirang x squared. So sa y raised to 12, divisible by 6 siya ba? So lahat yan may ilalabas natin. So, this is y squared. Kasi this one, makikita nyo, we can further simplify this. So, this is x, y squared, 6 root of, 9 is also equal to 3 squared, and then, syempre, yung x squared natin. So, lahat na to is divisible by 2. So, to further simplify, this is y, x squared, cube root of 3x. So, makikita nyo na agad yung sagot dito, it's letter B. Okay, number 10. We need to simplify the 8 raised to 3 fourths plus 2 cubed raised to 1 half. Okay? So, for this specific number, I already consulted with my blockmates in college. So, I already asked their opinion regarding this number. And then, according to the solution manual or sa answer key, the answer is 2 square root of 3. Because I personally believe there is an error dun sa tanong. I checked sa calculator, it's roughly near 2 square root of 3. Kaya siguro yun yung nakuhang choice. Pero again, baka kasi may error. That's just my personal take on this. Pero tutulungan ko pa rin kayo dun sa mga certain topics or para mga certain um, tips. If you will see certain items na ganitong lalabas for NMAT. So, if you see anything that is raised to 1 half, and then dito, pwede pa natin itong ma-further simplify, which is 8 is just 2 cube raised to 3 over 4 plus 2 cube. And then, mumultiply mo lang yung exponent. So, lalabas is 2 raised to 9 over 4. Yeah, it's 9 over 4 plus 2, 3, okay, so plus 2 cube. Okay, so ilang beses ko na itong 3 na isagutan and hindi ko talaga siya makuha so kinalagyo ko lang talaga siya. Yeah, makikita nyo, it's 2 square root of 3. So ang lalabas na sagot dito is... 3.464 Ayan, so makikita nyo Ayan Sagot dito is Ayan 3.571 Malapit-lapit naman siya Kaya siguro yun yung Naging sagot Letter A So ang haba naman yung explanation ko na So number 11 So we need to simplify The cube root of x plus 3 quantity squared all over cube root of x 
minus 3. In fractions, hindi po pwede na meron tayong radical sa baba. So, kailangan natin ma-eliminate yun. So, yung quantity na nasa loob is consider it as 1. So, you need to multiply it by something para ma-eliminate mo yung cube root. So, that number is the cube root of itself, which is x minus 3, and then squared. Kasi kapag x minus 3 quantity times x minus 3 quantity squared, kapag sinulat mo yun, it's just x minus 3 quantity cube. So, may eliminate mo yung radical sign. So, ganun din. Mumultiply mo din siya sa taas kasi parang halang nagmultiply ng 1. So, magigyan na is cube root of x plus 3 squared times x minus 3 squared all over x minus 3. Hindi mo na siya kailangan i-multiply, multiply. So, medyo, imbis na paikliin natin yung problem, pabain lang natin siya ng slight. So, pag i -re rewrite mo to, this is just the cube root of x plus 3 x plus 3 x minus 3 and x minus 3 okay, all over x minus 3 okay so gawin mo, pagpalitin mo lang yung dalawa so mangyayari is cube root of x plus 3 times x minus 3 tapos x plus 3 x minus 3 okay all over x minus 3. So, this is the cube root of x squared minus 9 squared. All over x minus 3. So, the answer here is letter D. So, tapos na tayo sa fundamental operations. O, di ba sabi sa inyo short lang to? Okay, so we will go to problem solving. So, number 19. Number 19. So, the total interest of two investment is 464. Rate 1 is equal to 8%. And then, rate 2 is equal to 7.5%. So, ang formula ng interest is just P R T. So, this is the principal amount times the rate times the time. So, dahil wala namang time na binigay, we will assume na 1. So, automatic, when it comes to investment, as walang time na binigay, automatic, 1 year yon. So, 1. So, how much was invested at 8% if the total investment is 6,000? So, the first investment, we will place the variable x for the first investment. And then, for the second investment, 6,000 minus x. x bilang the first principal times 8% plus 6,000 minus x times 7.5, the second rate. Dahil sabi nga dun sa unang part ng question, the total interest is 464. So, multiply na lang natin. So, this is 0 0.08x plus 450 minus 0 0.075x is equal to 464. So, to simplify, uh, combine like terms tayo. So, 0.8x minus 0.75x is equal to 0.005x. Tapos, distribute mo yung 450 sa kabila. So, 464 minus 450 is equal to 14. So, divide this by 0 0.05. 0 0.05. So, x will be equal to 2,800. So, yun yung hinahanap natin. So, the answer is C. So, number 20. A teacher demonstrates an equilateral triangle to his class. If one side is 12 centimeters, what is the area of the whole triangle? So, sabi dito, it's equilateral. When we say equilateral, 
equal sign sides. So pag sabing equiangular, equal angles. So equal sides. So binigay na na 12 cm. So all of the sides of the triangle is 12 cm. What is the formula ba ng area ng triangle? So the area of a triangle is equal to base times height over 2. So dahil wala namang binigay na height dito, kailangan mo siyang i-work back. So, mapapansin nyo, pag inati natin to dito, makakabutay ng right triangle. Sobrayin natin yan. This is 6. And then this is 6. So, nakabutay yung second triangle natin na 12 ang hypotenuse and then 6 yung isang side and then we will just look for this one. Okay, gets? So, the formula of the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay, so Pythagorean theorem. So, kung makikita mo a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So, ipa-plot lang natin. So, yung hypotenuse natin is 12 squared. And then, yung isang nahanap natin side is x. So, x squared plus 6 squared. So, this is x squared plus 36 is equal to 144. So, ilipat lang natin si 36 sa kabila. This will be equal to x squared is equal to 144 minus 36 is x squared is equal to 108. So, this x is equal to square root of 108. So, what is 108? This is just 36 times 3. So, may lalabas mo hagad yun. So, x is equal to 6 square root of 3. Okay, nakuha na natin yung missing natin na sign. This is 6 square root of 3. Okay, meron trick dito. Kapag nakakita ka ng 60-30 triangle, so, yung short side is just x. Yung long side is x square root of 3. Yung long side is 2x. Area is equal to base times height over 2. Okay. Over 2. So ngayon, ang base natin daw is 12 times the height of 6 square root of 3 all over 2. Okay. So area is equal to 6 times 6 square root of 3. So, makakuha mo dito area is equal to 36 square root of 3. So, the answer is D. And number 21. In a mathematics test, the mean score of a class of 30 students is 45. So, 30 students. Tapos, 45 yung mean. So, sa isang class, which is 20 students, it is 48. Ma? So, ngayon, ano daw yung mean score ng dalawang class? So, kukombine natin siya. So, gagawin lang natin dito is 45 times 30. Bakit? Kasi, pag sabi kasing mean average siya, so, ibig sabihin, para makuha mo yung summation ng lahat ng score, kailangan mo siya i-multiply dun sa total number ng population natin or ng sample natin. So, 45 times 30. Tapos, plus 48 times 20. All over lahat ng total population na natin. So, which is 30 plus 20. So, what is 45 times 30? It's just like 450 times 3. So, 1,003 150 oh, 1350 plus yung so 48 times 20 is just 960 so 960 all over 50 okay so add natin yung dalawa kakalabasan niyan is 2310 all over 50 to simplify in 2310 all over 50 ang lalabas na sagot dito is 46.20 So, makikita mo agad yung sagot. It's letter B. 
Number 22. So, idodrawin natin siya. So, this is 8 by 3 cm. So, 8 cm by 3 cm. Okay? So, rotated about the axis of 8 cm. So, ang pwede kasi dito is, ang axis of rotation niya is dito. Kasi 8 cm eh. Pero, para makuha mo yung sagot, sa gitna pala siya dapat i-rotate. So, dito. So, mga kabuukan ng cylinder na may haba na 8 cm at meron kang diameter na 3 cm. Okay? And 3 cm. So, ang tinatanong ngayon, what is the volume of the cylinder? So, the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. So, 3 cm is the diameter. So, kalahati ng diameter is the radius. So, volume is equal to pi times 1.5 squared times height. So, yung height natin yung haba. So, it's 8 cm. 8 cm. So, volume is equal to pi of 9 over 4 times 8. So, the volume of pi times 18 or this is 18 pi cubic centimeters. So, sagot dito is letter C. Number 23. Ganito siya is so solve. So, kunin muna yung distance ng dalawang points and then add mo lahat ng distances na nakuha mo. So, the distance formula is the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay? So, yun yung formula ng distance. So, sa first point, kunin natin yung square root ng negative 3 minus negative 9 squared plus negative 9 minus 3 squared. So, simplify mo to. So, this is negative 3, positive 9. So, this is 6 squared plus this is negative 12 squared. So, this is 36 plus 144. So, this is the square root of 180. So, it's also equal to 36 times 5. So, lalabas dito is 6 squared to 5. So, ito yung first distance natin. 6 squared to 5. So, second square root of this is 13 minus negative 3 squared plus negative 1 minus negative 9 squared. So, makikita nyo lumalaki yung sulat ko. So, this is uh -huh, 13 so this is 16 squared plus 8 squared so this also equal to 256 plus 64 which is also equal to square root of 320 so to further simplify this this is just 5 times 64. So, makuha mo dito is 8 squared to 5. So, the third distance is square root of negative 9 minus 13 squared plus negative 3 minus 1 squared. So, this is negative 39, so this is negative 21, negative 22, yeah, this is negative 22, negative 22 squared plus negative 4 squared, so this is equal to 484 plus 16, so the other is square root of 500, 
So this is also equal to 100 times 5. This is 10 square to 5. So add mo yung tatlo nating nakuha na distance. So this is 6 square to 5 plus 8 square to 5 plus 10 square to 5. Alabas dito is 24 square to 5. So, sagot dito is A. Number 24. So, the sum of money of Billy and Sander is, so, X plus Y is equal to 4,230. So, if two-thirds daw ng pera ni Billy ay equal sa 5 six ng pera ni Sander, Magkano daw yung kay Billy? So, nakita nyo dito, meron tayong dalawang equation. So, gawin natin, convert natin, para maipasok natin yung second equation sa first equation natin. So, gawin natin, si Billy kasi hinahanap natin, so, kailangan natin i-insert yung y pataas. So, ilipat ko to sa kabila. This is just equal to 2 thirds times 6 over 5 times x. Cancel, cancel. This is 2. So, lumalabas na 4 over 5 x is equal to y. So, ipasok mo na to. Ah, pasok, luning ni. So, this is x plus 4 over 5 x is equal to 4,230. So, again, sa pag nag a ng fraction, dapat same ang denominator. So, this is 5 over 5 x plus 4 over 5 x is equal to 4,230. Ayan. So, next natin dito is add mo yung fraction, which is 9 over 5 x to 4,230. So, to simplify, kailangan mo lang tong divide ng 9 over 5. Divide mo to ng 9 over 5. So, lumalabas na 4,230 is multiplied by 5 over 9. Multiply natin muna yung nasa taas ng 5. So, ang, ang trick ulit natin dito is times 10 mo lang or add ka ng 0 tapos hati mo sa dalawa. So, lalabas na 42,300 divided by 2, 21,150. Okay? So, nakuha na natin ngayon. Divide natin to ng 9. So, divided by 9, 9, 2, 1, 1, 5. So, meron dalawa dito. So, 18, 3, 1, 9,18,27 So may tatlo So 9,18,27 So mayroon 27 dito Tapos may 45 45 divided by 9 Is equal to 5 So 45 0, 0, 0 So ang sagot dito is 2,350 Letter A Now, last number So 25. Three pipes can be used to fill up the swimming pool with water. It takes 9 minutes. Okay, pipe A. Tapos, to fill up the pool. Ha? Ayan, medyo kailangan nyo siyang i-analyze. Tapos, meron kay 6 minutes. Okay, pipe B. To fill up the pool. So, si third pipe na mayroong 4 minutes to empty the pool. So, ibig sabihin, tatlo yung pipe mo sa swimming pool na may dalawang nagpapasok ng tubig tapos may isang nagli-leak out ng tubig. So, ngayon, tinatanong dito, how long would it take to fill the swimming pool with given these conditions? So, ang tinatanong kasi, ilang minutes yung kailangan para mabuo natin yung swimming pool. So, using the first pipe, kaya niyang mabuo yung 1-9 ng pool for x minutes. Tapos yung second pipe is 1 over 6 of x minutes. And then, 1 over 4 x minutes is yung kaya niyang i-leak up. So, para mabuo natin yung pool na 1. So, pag nag a tayo ng fractions, kailangan natin kunin yung least common denominator nila. So, for this problem, ang least common denominator is 36. So, 36 divided by 9 times 1 is 4x. Tapos, 
36 divided by 6 times 1 is 6x. Tapos, 36 divided by 4 is 9 times 1. And so, 1. So, add na natin lahat to. Lalabas dito is 10x over 36 minus 9x over 36 to 1. So, lalabas dito is x over 36 times 1. So, multiply mo lang to both sides ng 36 para mag-cancel. So, x minutes na hinahanap natin is 36 minutes. Which is letter B. That's it sa fundamental operations and problem solving na 2019 and math practice set. So, I hope you guys enjoyed studying with me yung NMAT practice set and if you have other video suggestions please comment down below and open naman ako sa suggestions lalo na gusto kong malaman ko ano yung gusto nyong makita sa channel ko kasi gusto kong mag-give back sa mga NMAT takers lalo na ngayong enhanced community quarantine ngayon. If you like this video hit that thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button and please don't forget to share this video to your friends and until next time